Artem is going to tell us about lead sulfide quantum dots for direct conversion X-ray imaging applications. So the stage is yours, Artem. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for organizing this event to the organizer. And I have to say I'm very happy to be the last speaker in the quantum dot uh, section because, well, most of the introduction about quantum dots themselves is covered. So I can focus more on um, on our particular application on the X-ray detection. And um, let's see. Yeah. So a few uh, words about the company. So QDI system. Uh, I founded the company after finishing my PhD in 2019, and it is a spin-off of the University of Groningen. So University of Groningen is not really known to be the biggest technical university, but we do have a quite a good group in the quantum dots, and that's where most of our team members are coming from. So what we're doing is we are developing quantum dot technology for X-ray sensors. And we established um, basically all of the processes that we need to do so. So we do the synthesis of quantum dot material ourselves in our lab. We develop ink formulations for the position of the X-ray sensors. We do that uh, front plane deposition. So we test this material in a diode or in an image sensor. So we get this feedback from the end device performance that, that allowed us actually to optimize all the parameters and to be the first and well, to the best of, of my knowledge, the only company in the world to demonstrate quantum dot image sensors, well, at least that are work, working okay. So with this, I would like to go uh, further into uh, how X-ray sensors work. So basically, uh, we are talking about the uh, direct conversion sensors. So X-rays are incoming to the sensor and get absorbed in the conversion material. There, they are converted into electric signal. So one X-ray would create an electron uh, hole cloud so many electrons and holes then these electrons and holes they drift in an electric field to the uh, tft panel electric circuit beneath it when they are counted and they transferred into image so i wrote here some selected material requirements which is important to have to have a good x-ray sensor so first of all it's high x-ray absorption so x-rays it is a scare resource you don't want to miss x-rays because that would bring more dose to the patients and lower image quality. So you would like to absorb everything. Um, second is high X-ray sensitivity. So you want to get uh, more uh, charges per, per unit of dose to get better image. And then the small dark current. So dark current is a source of noise. So the lower dark, the, lo the better image you get. And also it has to be easily caught in onto a large uh, panel because the size of X-ray sensors, for example, in a mammography is well similar to a standard laptop screen. So it's 25 by 30 centimeters, something like this. And uh, I will talk first a little about material properties of the quantum dots and then later show the performance of the sensor. So first is X-ray absorption. So here on the left, I plotted X-ray attenuation of 140 micrometer thick films of different material. So for example, yellow one is amorphous selenium is uh, one of the only materials that can be deposited on large area for direct conversion detectors. But selenium is a light atom, so it doesn't absorb X-ray very well. So the sensitivity drops, absorption drops to low values above like 30 kilo electron volt. Then there is a methyl ammonium lead iodide, perovskite, which also a lot of research is going on about it. So it has a lot of iodine content, so it has, well, a decent uh, X-ray a good density and decent X-ray absorption. And here is lead sulfide. So lead sulfide, it's a, a crystal of lead sulfide, has a density of 7.6, has a lot of lead, 80% by mass, even, even more. So it absorbs quite a lot. But lead sulfide, so the dark current is very hot, and crystal you cannot well, deposit on large area. That's why we use Artem, like one, yes. can I ask, maybe you can turn off your uh, camera because sometimes your voice is not very good. So if you turn off your camera, maybe the bandwidth will be better. Thanks. Okay, uh, I, will, I will try. Um, so I was talking about lead sulfide. So we use quantum dots of lead sulfide and we are not really interested in heavy metal free quantum dots because heavy metals is something that actually absorbs X-rays. So here on the right, you see um, a photo of one of our diodes. So quantum dot films is deposited in the middle 
and we can do a debt 